Hello and welcome back to FIFA Manager 2020 here and our uh, forever struggle or something in Venera National League South here with Bass City Football Club and uh, our fourth or fifth season or something like that uh, here is off to a really bad start. Uh, we are second to last in the league and uh, we have uh, done really well, we have overall worked towards a better state for the club, and it it really is in general in a better state, but uh, yeah, we can't really get up to the level that we want and, and need for uh, the first team. Uh, the duty is improving and everything is improving around it, but the, the first team struggling, struggling, definitely. But uh, hopefully we can see some improvement here from, from example, a Ra Ravencroft here uh, to get things going. And uh, yeah, team ranking up to 522, uh, at least a little bit better. But uh, yeah, we are uh, a few days up to the next match also. So hopefully, hopefully things will look even better here, especially if we can start to turn things around and play a little bit better. I think we are going to do good, but uh, as you saw there, this is another really tough match here for us. And uh, Gatridge, how are you really doing? You're really doing horrible, to be honest. Uh, haven't come back from the injury that you had. You were on the w on the way to become a first team regular, maybe, but uh, not anymore. Uh, so we're still weak in, well, a little bit weak in all the places, but also everyone really uh, a bit uh, sad, so to say. And uh, highest form gain costing back. We should have a look in our youth squad here uh, before the match to see how we're doing. If anyone should be extra focused on here. So the 15, 16 year olds uh, will uh, have a look here on the level. So anyone definitely up to around this level uh, 25 or so that isn't getting moved up this season should be trained or have a mentor so I think yeah I think Ed Chill here definitely should have a mentor uh, simple maybe and preferred position is going to be left midfielder or right midfielder Let's say a left midfielder for Edgil, training for the future there. And uh, let's also say that, uh, oh, not Morris, Edgil, we said. Preferred position and must be in the team. Could train with the first team, but I think we'll skip that for now. We don't need any team uh, dynamics talk here at right this moment, so that's good. Uh, we are going to do the youth scouting to find more youth players and uh, sign there. And we're going to start the match and we're going to do instant results here for a couple of matches and a one uh, 3 d match for uh, this episode, so to say. Uh, but we'll uh, kick off here and hope for the best and as I'm saying that of course we get a goal against us uh, but at least it's it's uh, keep me up the pace here playing it this style which I'm enjoying even though we're playing it raw and slow here on the raw slow gaming so after one half we're trailing by one and Stasha having a poor game uh, really our defenders and uh, our keeper doing decent uh, but other than that, not really too great. Atmosphere 
only 11 and teamwork at 62 so not too great at all and so far this season we have gotten one point we were really close to take home a win in the, the last match in the last uh, episode or something like that uh, but uh, no cigar there unfortunately so the end result here for Bassett versus Willing United uh, in the sixth match day in the Baron National League is 0 to 1 and shots 5 to 10 shots on target 4 to 5 chances 4 to 12 and position 40 to 60 percent so overall a uh, well deserved win I guess and uh, we're all players not performing well uh, other than our keeper and we're still second to last year after six matches and uh, risking to drop sports even more which i think we are down to eight yeah so this is starting to be really troublesome for us uh, to uh, to not get fired to be honest and uh, if if that's the case maybe we'll uh, we'll have to do a restart I don't know if, if that's going to be the case or what we're going to do if, if we get fired, to be honest. I've said and always said like the series would be over and everything like that, but we could also, I guess we could cheat really how I will play it myself uh, because uh, reloading it and see see really uh, how how you can play it so to say I sort of really wish that I had a emergency session there before this or something like that but as, as you see here up to 534 now with uh, Bauer getting back there and Edwards letting then Mikalev and Richards play in uh, the center as or center midfielders uh, Robin Croft not playing so this is a match that I hope, I hope, hope, hope that we win. So we can get back a little bit of uh, trust and everything. Uh, we really need to do that. All right, so we got uh, pushed out by the mediator somehow, which is uh, horrible. Uh, so you are in the reserves, yeah. Bad condition, all right. But you are showing good and fast improvement there, so that's really good. Uh, so we don't need to do there, but we need the team and dynamics. Edwards, welcome to the club. And some sponsoring deals here. Five ad boards, increase some. Yeah, well, it's only at really three ad boards, so we don't give too much weight into it. Uh, we will do instant results here as well. Our team rating 535 versus their 554. Unfortunately, they have been in a really good form uh, so far. And uh, we, we will go with a little bit of a risky talk and say we can win for, but because that is the truth that we definitely can win here will it happen though i don't know i hope that it do happen and uh, this call in here after one half it's zero to zero but uh, let's just hope 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 that they can scramble in a goal here we so need it and uh, no, it is a goal in the last few minutes for our opponents, of course, St. Albans City. So the final scoreline for Bassett versus St. Albans City is 0 to 1. And uh, overall, our team doing a better game, it would feel like. Shots 3 to 5, shots on target 1 to 1, chances 5 to 6, and possession 49 to 51%. So, yeah, a pretty even game. And uh, that have dropped us down to last place in the league now. Two points up to uh, non-relegation spot. And I think... Yeah, this is this is really closing out to be... Uh, where we are getting fired. And I think... 
I think what I'm going to do, if that's the case really, uh, is to restart. We'll, we'll show you everything here, but then we'll go back to the point that we were before we started this episode and just show you when we actually managed to win a game or two so we don't get fired if that's the case. Uh, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. And uh, for now, we'll, we'll do instant results just so we will uh, get to the point that we know, so to say. To be honest, because uh, I, I, I'm a little bit worried. Bauer unfortunately injured here again, or injured. I don't know if it's again, but he's injured. Uh, next to talk with is uh, Mikalev. Uh, what do we want to say to him? Has he really done good in training? Well, not superb, to be honest. Uh, get on with others. All right. Uh, he's obviously not happy. And uh, that's obviously really, really small things, so to say, or picky. But, uh, oh well. Uh, so we'll head off to the next match here against Oxford City, which is going to be hard, like all the ones before it. We'll let this run, and while we do that, remember to smash that like button if you're enjoying this episode. really helps a lot. Uh, also, if you're doing that, of course, hit the subscribe button if you want to follow along and see more and follow our journey here with Bath City to the top of Premier League and beyond, hopefully. And here after one half against Oxford City, we're actually leading. And uh, we just want to continue like this. Just continue like this. And uh, atmosphere down to 8. Teamwork going up to 68 though, so that's good. Uh, so we'll let the second half go here as I say that. Uh, there's a link in the description to a tutorial on how to install FIFA Manager 2020 if that is something you're interested in and also a link to FIFA Manager 2013 which you need if you want to play FIFA Manager 2020 which is a mod. Uh, so check out the links in the description to the tutorial and also the link to where you can buy FIFA Manager 2013 and uh, that's also a great way to support the channel as that uh, is an affiliate link so I get back a small piece of the price if you buy it from that link so <laughs> very unfortunately for us here in this match Bath City versus Oxford City we end up losing 1-2 to two after full time uh, really, really terrible for us. Shots three to seven. Shots on target one to four. Chances three to seven. Possession forty three to fifty seven percent. So still, obviously lost. Uh, two points up to, uh, well, not being relegated or in a relegation zone. Uh, we are down to five. I don't remember this uh, actually being that nice to you, so to say. And such a, obviously one of the problems also uh, in FIFA Manager uh, uh, and everything like that is that if you have a team that is not performing well, the, the up and downs are always going to be down in general, which negates the training performance that you get from your players and everything like that uh, by them just developing over time, which is what we're trying to do. So we're really in an uphill battle all the time, uh, which is really frustrating to be honest. And Roman Croft injured there, which uh, is really bad also. I hope, certainly hope, uh, that Bauer is back fit, but he isn't, so do we have a central defender here that we can use in our reserves? It's Prul, I guess, here, but she has zero energy. Oh, boy. Simmer. Move to first team uh, one week. Will that help though? 
I don't know if it you will you're getting on the bench at least so yeah not really so a lot of injuries is definitely not helping us either out for up to 13 days offer from Stockport United County yeah we could just take up an offer but I don't really want to do that and start over because I want to build or continue to build what I have started to build so to say uh, what do we want to say it's simple here 49 and you're soon getting experience here uh, wants to improve become stronger though it's good scouting watch some uh, someone do something and team rating 526 versus 557 here for a passage versus Concord Rangers a fight for every ball is the talk we're going with here uh, we should do some team address here thingy here as, as well as soon as possible uh, so we'll take a look at the calendar here uh, uh, after this match teamwork up to 70 so so that's really getting on uh, the better side which is great and uh, we do take the leader in the 50th minute can this hold together now finally oh it did and that's just wonderful wonderful winning our first first match of the season in the ninth match day that's really horrible but it's so nice so the final score line for passage versus concord rangers is one at two zero uh, shots a five to three shots on target two to zero chances seven to three and position 56 to 44 percent so obviously a well-deserved win and that brought us up to 20th place uh far too early or anything to talk about the playoff spot but we are 12 points off from a playoff spot and uh, yeah i don't really see that happening uh this time around at all uh, haven't been uh, that way well ever so far this season but uh, maybe maybe it is so defensive midfielder well we are not using defensive midfielders but we will would take you up on the offer if uh, uh, you were in a position where we are using so to say Sturmus have you developed anything here as in the reserves yeah a fair bit not so much in the level but skill points in total is definitely a lot up so that's good uh, calendar it was so uh, we're in late September late August so we need to plan that in let's say after after this match uh, so let's plan in play party here so hopefully that will be good for everyone uh, as we get to that oh no we have uh, our loan keeper out that's really not good really not good at all uh, we get up a lot on things here uh, so that's good but we have no no players left here really to be honest Sproul has zero energy how is it that you have zero energy And how come you have lost 75 points? Bad condition, yeah, obviously. Um, so 
So Sproul, let's move you to first team for two weeks. And the same here for uh, Stromness. Lineup assistant, 516, that's just not good at all. Oh boy. So uh, we will not do any screen match here uh, right now, as I said. Uh, wants to improve. That's what we want you to push for. Beal. Uh, crosses in the box. And scouting. Range training course or coaching course. Yes, it's all right. Uh, we'll do instant result, I said. Our team rating down to 516 again, or low 500s versus uh, Maidenhead's 570. So we'll only get out there and keep it simple, and we get a goal against us in this second minute, which is horrible. But we came back in the 11th minute, but after that we get two more <laughs> goals against us. Also a very goal-rich first 20 minutes, and that's also the result after one half, and that is then one to three for Bass City versus Maidenhead. And uh, just play like we practice in training. As soon as we are up to 10, teamwork 72, so that's good. Really good in general, general really. Uh, the sport is not good, of course, and uh, we risk falling in sports here after this match also. Uh, so the end result for Bassett versus Maidenhead United is 1-4. to four. The team playing bad overall, and the stats not so ba bad though, actually. Shots 5-7, to seven, shots on target 2-5, to five, chances 5-11, to 11, and position 37-63%. So, all right, it, it was really bad. Uh, still 20th in the league, 13 points off from a playoff spot. And uh, did sports move anywhere? No, I don't think so. Media is horrible and uh, fans is also pretty darn horrible. 10 days out for Erdem. And uh, 6 days for our uh, well, left midfielder. Thomas out for a fair bit, and uh, Zimmer. Thomas, is you also a player that we had higher hope for, right? You're also in bad condition. Why are my players in so bad condition? I don't understand. When you're, you're uh, injured or you have... Uh, have um, zero energy, so... So, 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 should I change that or what? Right, so let's change that. Colin Thomas, you don't throw in with your first team. And the first team... Or is that just a bug? Oh, pressing the wrong thing. Uh, Sproul... will do the same thing here. If that were an option. No. All right. So, so as I said, getting confused here with everything. We have so many injuries, seven injuries. This is ridiculous, really. It's not easy when you have the whole team injured. Luckily, it's not um, the, the the key players, so to say, so much, but still. Uh, so I think we'll end after this key match here against Tunbridge Angels. Uh, and we'll do instant result, even though this sh maybe shouldn't be a screen match. But uh, 
uh, the, the episode would drag on a little bit longer than I, I want and also it's actually a bit late as you see in game here uh, on the in game clock or rather the real clock so to say oh come on a lot of players getting uh, cleared for for problems but we have four more <laughs> with problems there so team rating 482 left midfielder and right midfielder both out no oh boy right left midfielder Simmer you are going up to first team here for a week and that fix that of sorts Uh, right midfielder, left midfielder, Dean Evans. Well, yeah, right midfielder, decent. Do we have anyone? I don't think so. Nope. This is just so bad. So bad. Could I do like this? Nope. Uh, delete all mains. Well, that's not what I want to do really, so we'll just have to click on everything here a bit fast. Uh, so we'll do team dynamics, simmer, stronger, please, scouting, donate kits and balls, nope. Uh, no. So our team rating 499 versus their 485. And we'll go with the really risky talk that we're confident that we'll leave the pitch as winners. I'm not confident in that at all, but... Uh, and we'll double that here. Uh, and hope that they pull it together <laughs> when we get a goal against us. Oh, well, that's uh, pretty much a nail in the coffin. But we do get back there with uh, another with, with uh, an equalization at least. But uh, well, that will take a tough hit against uh, the morale of the players and everything uh, or the atmosphere. So the end result for Bastard versus Tunbridge Angels is 1-2-1. Shots 42, shots on target 3 to 1, chances 42, and possession 60-40%. So we did have them where we wanted them, but we just couldn't get in with the chances we had, so to say. And that dropped us down one place to 21st in the league. One point up to, uh, well clear of a relegation zone so we will uh, roll forward here to the next match but don't play it and uh, end the episode we will take a look on uh, how the team rating looks for uh, this match and uh, see uh, if we will have any chance here in another important match no 464 what the heck is even happening well, of course, we have Craig, we have Bauer, Batten, Beal out. Yeah, this is just, this is just horrid, really. Um, maybe we'll, we'll just cheat and get back to you, to uh, the last say, because this with within years here, this is getting ridiculous. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, we, you will see. With that said, thank you very much for watching this episode, and uh, hope to see you at the channel here pretty soon again. And with that said, bye bye. You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming, and I hope you have enjoyed. 
on clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right or latest upload to the channel and with that said thank you again for watching